what was making so much noise. And here I see some strength. Hey, looking for Luan? You know how I can find her? She was just here. 
Boo. Still didn't break your neck? Good. This him? The gajo you were talking about? Daniel, I've heard a lot about you. Huh. Haven't heard a thing about you at all. Do we have to see Frank? Tukandano, Raki Resa Aja, Obchinwe Chibiasa. Back off, jackass. What are you talking about? That Levant friends are my friends. Daniel says that to get the power flowing, we have to reactivate the other substations. The power plant's on, but the cables couldn't take it. Fifteen years took a toll. Atrophy musculare means juite. Untrained muscles wither. Come on, Frank's room is over there. Let's figure out why Waltz turned it on in the first place. Good talk, Gajo. Better watch your back. Need a kick in the ass. Are we going? One thing about Frank. Do you see these people? Anywhere else, they'd be savages at each other's throats, but not here. Here, they stay calm, cool, and collected, cause of Frank. They respect him because he was a night runner. Everyone here owes him something, including me. If it wasn't for Frank, I wouldn't be here. And where would you be? In a dark zone as a biter? Or in some den, high and about to get higher? Frank will help us. You can rely on him too. Trust me. Ready? Let's go. Frank! They slaughtered us. One by one, like fucking rabbits. Frank? Frank, it's me. Wake up! You? What the fuck you doing here? Interrupting my conversation with... Ravik's been dead for years, Frank. Pull yourself together. You got a visitor. And who's that? Queen of fucking England? I gotta act all dainty now. This is Aiden. He has the GRE access key. Waltz used it to turn on the electricity in town. Working GRE key? You're full of shit. Show it to him. Where'd you get it? Uh, from one of Waltz's men. So you want a Waltz's men too? Hey, easy, Frank. Aiden is on our side. We think this contains data proving what they did to us in the hospital. Uh, so you still believe you'll find out why Waltz fucked up your childhood? Okay, I'll tell you. Ready? Uh, uh, yeah, because he's a fucking psycho. He's fucked in the head. That's your holy grail and Ark of the Covenant all in one, Luan. Happy? Aiden, right? You and Luan can get the fuck out of my face now. I got more important things in my mind. <sighs> worked if that fucker had showed up at the TV station. You were right, Ravik. Fucking traitor. Without him, we were like kids with slingshots going up against tanks. Luan, it seems we're done here. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Waltz turned the power on with this key for the first time in years. And I doubt he did that out of the kindness of his heart. And you don't give a fuck? Frank, get your shit together. You were a legend. Fucking commander of the Night Runners. Do you even remember that? That Frank is dead, Luan. He died with the others at the TV station. Why the fuck would Waltz turn on the power? Don't ask me. I don't have a clue. But if you're looking for the GRE database, you need to find a terminal to access it. But the thing is, I... I have no idea where one could be. And those who knew are... 
probably long dead. But the good news is we'll probably be dead ourselves soon enough. Cheers. Now, get the fuck out of my quarters. <laughs> Fucking drunkard. You hear that? Fuck, something's happening. Will you check? I'm right behind you. To all units, renegades are in the central loop. I repeat, renegades are in the center. They're surrounding the fisheye. Can anyone hear me? Over. That was close. Aiden, more renegades on the lower level.
in the area. Yes, Commander. You. You all right, boy? Jackman. Come on, Frank. You all right? I saw you fight. What's your name? Aiden. If it weren't for you, a lot more would be dead. Come on, boys. Search the area. Sir, I have a question. We're looking for a GRE database. Most GRE equipment has been dead for years. What do you need this database for? With your knowledge of the city, you know GRE places inside out. Aiden and I need to find this database. Will you help us? Luan, he's your friend. <laughs> Aiden? You could say that. I've never heard of you, Aiden. Where are you from? I'm a pilgrim. I came from outside the walls. So you've seen a lot. You probably came through old Villador too, right? All right. What do you want to know? A lot has been going on there lately. We lost our commander, and the Bazarians tried to cut off our power source. Fortunately, they failed, and we held our position. But the fighting continues. We're losing people. I also lost contact with the new commander, Ator and his unit. Know anything about them? We found Waltz. He overpowered us and escaped. What? Where? In the tunnels, near the car plant. Waltz decimated Ader's squad. I barely managed to escape. I shouldn't have left him like this. We need to find out what's going on there. As for the GRE equipment you're asking about, you can ask Lieutenant Rowe. If something's working, 
he'll know about it. Lately, he and his unit have been securing the Culver Island and New Dawn Park areas. But because of the Butcher's raid, we had to go radio silent. So you have to look for him yourselves. If you find him, give him these. What are they? Orders for him and the other units. Move it, boys. Let's go. Come outside. Let's talk. Aiden! Where did you learn to fight like that? Where? On the road? As a pilgrim? I had no other choice. On the road? <laughs> Don't you wonder sometimes what they gave us to make us like this? Stronger? Rather, fucked in the head. But yeah, fucked up and stronger. Maybe I'll figure that out when I find Mia. What's next? Well, you heard it yourself. Ro might know where you can access that damn database. Here, take these orders to him. Just don't lose him, or Jack will gut me. What about you? I'll join you. But first, I have to see Frank. You saw him. He's barely holding it together. Okay. Good. Start with Culvert Island. The PK have an outpost there. And stay on the radio all the time. Sure thing, partner. Chances against renegades were pretty good. Now, I'm not so sure. Pilgrim, stay frosty. There might still be tangos in the area.
Well, look what the cat dragged in. Well, don't look all butt hurt. Hell, I want to thank the cat, because you look just like the kind of guy who could help me out. Name's Harper. Used to be a night runner a few lifetimes ago, it seems. And while this city has gone straight to hell, that don't mean I gave up being its guardian angel. And right now, we got us a problem. It's called electricity. Where everyone else sees a brave new world, I see the end of the world. I've been paying attention. Suddenly, all these new infected are popping up. You ask me, it's because of the electricity. Of course, it's only a hunch right now, but if I had tissue samples from the infected, bet I could figure out what's up with all these new ones. I've got some setup to do here. You think you can help me by collecting the tissue samples I need? And I'm talking fresh meat, my friend. It's over now. Can you hear me, honey? Get up, please. Renegades get all the way here. Some civilians must have betrayed us. One. I'm nearing Culvert Island. Great. Frank sorted out, so I'm on my way. If you get Ro to tell you where the terminal is, let me know. You'll find your sister. I'll find the missing names of assholes for my kill list. Everyone will be happy. Except the people you shoot. They won't be in any condition to care. Lieutenant Rowe, I have orders from the commander. I ain't Rowe. He went off with a squad to New Dawn Park. I'm Lieutenant Grady. Great. Guess I gotta keep going. What are you talking about? Show me those orders, son. I was supposed to give them directly to Rowe. And I'm Rowe when Rowe's not here. It's called chain of command. Give him. What the hell? Did the commander say why we're being pulled back to center? He didn't seem too eager to explain anything to me. I'm just the messenger. Okay, boys, time to pack it in. Command's ordered us to withdraw. It's back to base for us. We're doing what? We're leaving this outpost? Don't question me. You can't hide behind Meyer's skirt out here. You're... you're abandoning us? What do we do? We'll be defenseless. Go arm the survivors. 
Then we roll. If I were you, I'd give them plenty of weapons. The Renegade sent a whole detachment to the Fisheye. Any other bright ideas, civilian? And just a question. Where can I find Roe? New Dawn Park, like I said. Not sure if they made it yet. You take these to him and tell him I'm on it. Even better you than me, buddy. Roe's gonna blow his top when he reads these. And I'm here to save lives, not lose mine. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Assholes. We won't stand a chance. I'm really sorry, civilian, but we have orders. You can't leave us! If the renegades come, we'll be dead within a day. Luan, I'm going to New Dawn Park. Apparently Roe went there. I still don't understand why the renegades attacked the Fisheye. They've got their camps, but Butcher hasn't attacked the Fisheye since... Never. Even he respected the Night Runner, so... No fucking clue what's going on in his head. The Butcher. Tell me more about him. The Colonel. He's the leader of the renegades. He gave the order to douse the city in chemicals. That's when my parents died. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Saw my dad once in my whole life. And if mom was good at anything, it was drinking. She abandoned me. That's how you ended up in Walter's program? <sighs> More or less. Remember the hospital, the pain, and the fire. Right before they split me and Mia up. That one you looking for her? She's the only family you got left. Let's focus on the job, okay? Okay, tough guy. Last one there's a rotten egg. <laughs> Hey, I'm looking for Lieutenant Rowe. You seen him? Who are you? What do you want to know? I have orders from Major Matt. Lieutenant Grady said he was here. It'll be okay. Where's your squad and commander? We were making camp when renegades attacked us. 
Ro and the others, they got a few. Then they went after the ones that tried to run. What about you? Couldn't keep up. I lost contact with them. Then another group attacked me. What are they doing here? The renegades weren't attacking our positions in the center. Oh, fuck. Hey! Still some rats here! Hide. Go to hell. Sure. Already leaving. <laughs> Aren't we, gentlemen? Let's get him! Hey, we're safe now. You can come out. So, um, where's Ro? <sighs> Camp was supposed to be up there on the hotel roof, by the junction with Newell's Drive. There's a winch in the back of the building. You can take that up. If they haven't been able to come back yet, that's where you'll find them. Thanks. If you can make it back to base on your own, go there. And don't let yourself get chased into a box again. Luan, I've located Roe, a hotel by the Newalls Drive and Berrien intersection. Congrats. One big thing before the meeting with Roe. He's got a fucking hair trigger temper. Yeah, Grady already warned me. As long as he has info on the GRE database, he can be as pissy as he wants. Brave man. We'll talk after you meet him. See you there.
get the scumbags! That was close, man. Thanks. Not yet, but I ran across some renegades. Check the status of the squad downstairs. Yes, sir, Lieutenant, sir. Are the renegades outside? They won't bother you. You took them out? Who are you? Aiden. I got orders from Jack Matt. Well, fuck me. Let's look at what Santa's Elsa brought us. Withdrawal? Now? This is some kind of fucking joke. Know how many men I lost to secure this miserable plot of land? Look, I don't, Lieutenant, but I have Five. other... Five. Five of our very best. Bartez killed more virals than an entire unit. Sierra and Little Ron? They've been fighting at my side since before the fall. They gave their lives for that scrap of the city, and now what? I'm supposed to pull back? I'm looking for access to the GRE database. I hear you know where I can do that. Yeah, I do. But why the fuck would I tell you under the circumstances? I got important, if idiotic, business to attend to. Get out of my sight. Okay, gentlemen. Gather the dog tags of the fallen. It fucking sucks. But an order's an order. Bro, wait. Luan, do you come to piss me off too? You know me, Ro. Aiden and me both are looking for that GRE database, and you're gonna tell us. You wanna drag this out, 
or take care of it here and now. <laughs> Fuck. Why are you after the database? I've heard it was stored on servers in the Observatory Command Center. But that building was destroyed in the chemical attacks years ago. The bombings came one after the other, like we were the fucking Viet Cong. Nothing was left. Understand? Nada. If you want, check for yourselves. Gentlemen, we're going. What's next? Next? <laughs> Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list. And you? You can enjoy life in the center. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list? They'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden? I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah. Thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, little one. Sayonara.
I heard about Rose withdrawal from the island. There's nothing, sir. I heard the place you're looking for was destroyed. I'm sorry. Thanks. But sorry isn't much consolation. I know, son. But I might be able to help you out. I'll get back to you. Major Matt, Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship, to the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right.
hate to be on the field when it rains. You don't look for anything. And, uh, what did they what do they say yesterday? Halt! Biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Thanks. You're clear. In a year, he'll be in this. You have to pick it up again. Any questions? Hey, where's dispatch? There! All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go! They've already attacked two of our camps. Do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Want something from me? Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! The other way! He's bleeding out! Fuck. Oh Hater's God. in really bad shape. Save him! You Take hit him me. to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! Going. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden. What do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the Renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. 
If they're of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay. I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you alright, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Dignity and peace, brother. Maybe we can Do you want go something have a drink me? after work? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight could come in handy. Thanks. We said something about a plan? The VNC Tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Hope that flashlight serves you well. Honor, Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No. I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? 
Unfortunately, I can't help. But Irene's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the one? Aiden, getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Ass off. Rainer? You lost, man? 
We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you, from Meyer and the Commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please, make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox and Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? How about a court-martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court-martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm-hmm. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. Told you. Don't have a Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Even a drop of Pinot. Maybe some fruit. Sweets always do me good between heavier courses. Yes. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. 
We'll be in touch. Go, find some art. Luan? There's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. 
keep looking. Took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Voice message from 5.36 p.m. Mr. Burkowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. As soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The Juan. I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay. I'll go there. And listen. That vodka? Daniel is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying.
checking the canteen now? These sketchy types are usually called by the court. What other fuck up royally we do with our eyes shut? Yes, me! Look, I found a complaint about the dam, and it requested to be assigned by the quarters. And can you imagine? snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, if I embarrassed you. I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Bottled a year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. Huh. What a sublime present. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? And why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to... To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. How do I know you're not using me to make a movie your own? I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolin. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here. Last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. You got it. Talk more about whiskey? I hear the PK engineers are working on alarms and electric trends.
I thought our chances against renegades were pretty good.
Good job, man. You showed him. You're a goddamn superhero. That beast had us trapped here. Wouldn't go away. It attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade, and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, come on. Let's get you to a doctor. You'll be okay. Demolin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad. Not bad. Aiden? Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional, and you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. Huh. No such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area. Worse since the renegades overran them. You must find them quickly. Great. Supply are quite a helpless bunch, it seems. What did you expect? There were ordinary people before the fall. Classmen, teachers, gardeners, not fighters. Renegades. More of them. Again? That's crazy. It has to be part of something the Butcher and Walter broke. But why now?
going, you're alive. Found your men. Um, some of them, at least. I'm sorry to say, they're dead. Aiden? You sure? How many? Two bodies. Both quite dead. The squad had five men. There are three others. There's still hope. Okay, I'll look for them. Totally berserk. It's crazy, I know. Something must have happened to them. They used to be regular soldiers, at least most of them. But now they're more like living virals. They're mad. They kill everyone in their path. Wait, mad? What do you mean? They say Williams treats them like animals, and they go wild. Well, the butcher is crazy, like they say. Crazy and unpredictable. Found him. Look! Another trap! You're that thing! Get him! Stop. 
Stop, don't move. Who are you? Relax. A Demolin sent me. Hey, you guys all right? Me? Yeah. Sebastian, not so much. I'm sure I'll be fine. But I was sent here for the lamps. Where are they? After we drove off the Renegades, we reached the building. To get in, we strung some ropes across from the next roof. And that's when the Renegades attacked again. And the lamps? They're still on the landing pad on the roof. The military hit them well, made sure no one could see them from above. Seba only saw them from the next building, through binoculars. But we didn't get a chance to finish securing the ropes. Is there any other way to get there? You could go through the building, but like I said, wall-to-wall -wall biters. I gotcha. I'll try the rope. You'd have to be a spider to climb in. And it's swarming with renegades outside. I like taking chances. Take this, contact Emelyn, and tell him what happened here. I'll go get those lamps.
Aiden? What's going on? The what? Ugh. I'm fine, but I took a fall. The lamps are busted in this one. Gotta take care of that thing up top and check the other container. Admit it. Juan's your type. What? I... The one. Get lost. Demolin, got your lamps. A dozen crates, maybe more. All untouched. Merci, Eden. You did your job well. Unfortunately, Sebastian didn't make it. I'm sorry to hear that. Poor boy. I so wanted to show him my father's shop. There's too much for me to carry on my own, and no way I'd make it through the infected while loaded down. The boys can get to the roof and manage the lamps themselves. They won. We secured the lamps, but the squad hit a snag when the renegades... Shh. Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. Ugh! 
change the tide of the war. I hear the PK engineers are working on a line. Mission accomplished. Shh. Do you know what that is, Aiden? Uh, it looks like uh, mouse turds, buckshot. Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Belugas, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Dissolving on your tongue, you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. What do you mean? You can't be obsessed with political machinations and enjoy the beauty of life at the same time. Who do you mean? The Jack Mats and Aidens of the world. Such a shame you picked the wrong team. Only team I'm on is my own. Sounds lonely. I'm not a fan of loneliness, you see. Did Matt reveal to you what he'll do with those lamps in a place without power? And how he plans to carry out this suicidal mission. As I thought. Take this and call him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt, the lamps are ready. Got it, Ada. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Well, Juan? 
He barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay. And when they try to bite, put them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. <sighs> that. Well, I hope you like taking orders, Aiden. Because Jack loves giving them. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Take care of these two for me, will you? Just let me rest. Some of us have been up all night. <laughs>